Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Raider IO's Race to World First Daily Recap. I am your host, Grant, and what a day it was yesterday. Let's get right into it with a drum roll, please. By congratulating Team Liquid on their world first Queen Anserek kill. And there we go, 3% on the boss. The ring cast hasn't even started yet. They have so much damage. Two no way they can wipe from here. Can we do on. this? 1%. 1%. Opening day of Mythic Narubar Palace, right through to the very end of the race, Liquid have dominated this tier. They have played out of their minds. And we want to say especially THD, who saved the world first kill with his incredibly quick thinking. While Liquid performed extremely well throughout Narubar Palace, we weren't always so sure that Queen Anzarek would die yesterday. The first major pull of the day was a knockout 10% wipe to the Enrage and an indicator that they had to find more damage somewhere, kind of a throwback to the Banshee Queen Sylvanas and the Sanctum of Domination. A minor comp swap followed, which was kind of one of the first real changes Liquid made throughout the entire prog of this fight. Throughout the day, Liquid continued to adjust cooldown timings in order to perfectly place major DPS bursts at the most impactful points of the fight. This often seemed successful as they had remarkable consistency in hitting sub 20% pulls and even got a new best of 3.4% just a hair away from killing the boss. However, after dinner, the team struggled to see significant progress or even get close to their best previous pulls and we began to worry that maybe they were losing a little bit of steam. But then, Almost out of nowhere, we saw a 1.7% wipe, and there was still hope for a world first kill. The hype of such a low pull, coupled with a quick break for the Raiders, reinvigorated them completely, and they began a series of sub 10% pulls before the kill. Liquid earned their world first answer at kill on pull 404 surpassing world fast Firax pull count of 340 and Ashara's pull count of 357. If we may quote the perpetually punny Dratnos, 404, boss not found. The current second place guild Echo also saw improvements early yesterday, with a new best after two hours of pulling and a 27.3% wipe. Not too long after that, they reached the most difficult part of the fight with the five summoned Acolyte adds and unfortunately died, but with a new best of 26.2%. And while the pool following was not a new best for the team, we did see an incredible performance by one individual. And of course it had to be Mirez, who managed to game out of his mind to keep his team alive just a little bit longer. On the other hand, we hope Kush enjoyed his nap during this pull. It must have worked and inspired something because when Echo headed to bed yesterday, they had managed to reach a new best of 25.4%. Early in their raid day, Echo saw a huge new best pull of 19% and were clearly reinvigorated by the sleep. They still had to work through the hardest overlap in phase three with the five summoned acolytes, but their consistency seemed to have improved heaps and bounds we are confident Echo are going to get that kill and possibly a world second before the reset is over. Method's raid day also started with an explosive pull and a massive 10% improvement on their best pull from Friday, and they only got better from there. The raiders quickly hit a 42.6% pull, followed by another at 39.5%. And then, after finally moving their bloodlust to phase 3 adds, a series of low 30% pulls. Method ended the day at a best of 27%. Their team still has a fair amount of optimization and positioning to work out before we can say a kill is imminent, but their consistency has improved every day and every tier, and we may even see them begin to fight Echo for world second before the week is out. The number one guild in China and our hearts, Hot Pot Hero zoned in to some terrible news yesterday as they found that their raid lockout 
had been reset. While this certainly did delay Hot Pot Hero's progression for the day, they did also see Anserex phase 3 and managed to get a new pull of 45.3% followed up by a 38.1%. These pulls were done in quick succession and were unbelievable compared to some of the other guilds progressing this fight. I certainly wouldn't write off Hot Pot Hero yet for a podium position. They are progressing so fast that they could still contend with Echo and Method and sweep past them even for a world second. You guys need to keep your eyes open for the incoming World 2nd and World 3rd kills, so make sure to head over to raider.io slash rwf, because we will not miss a thing, and we will make sure you don't either. Will it be Echo? Will it be Method? Will it be Hot Pot Hero? Will it be my guild? Do not even. Probably not, but you never know at this point. Finally, crowd favourites and my favourite guild in the world, Honolulu have made stunning progress through Brew Twister Ovanax on their more reduced schedule, casually bringing the gigantic sluggy beast down to 1.7%. They know that they can kill it when they're good and ready, but Kaivesa is seeming like such a major wall with their current gear that they're not really in a massive hurry. Well, friends, we've done it. We've made it through another Race the World first. Thank you so much for joining us on our daily jaunts for the Narubar Palace with the latest news and updates. I have been your host, Grant. Thank you to all the other hosts of the Daily Recap. And on behalf of the whole entire Raider IO team, I'd just like to say, job's done. Yeah, all you have to do is go into the Venom Bombs and get knocked over the Venom Wave. Yeah, it's very simple. Just do it correctly. I can't I feel imagine- like we're channeling chat, actually. <laughs>